yards, seven yard gain, but a tough third and nine upcoming. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you gotta know that he feels like he's right on the verge. That's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. Ah. Touchdown, Houston. I mean, I had to cover Hopkins in the slot. I had to. And the Texans are an extra point away from time. I couldn't let him go because then they would have put it right to him. I guess that's why they did that. Three buzz, three buzz. Mike 55, Mike 55. Go off on first down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. They've got his oh, yeah. And they've got oh, yeah. Pass protection was bomb. Before it's all said and done, it's a gain of 35. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that? One? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. On first and ten, gone. And Cooks has it over the middle. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn. Oh! Rams touchdown by Brandon Got him. X-Factor, baby. Touchdown, Brown. And the Rams have taken the lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Look at that pass Maybe right over the defender in the back corner of the end zone. Guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather that than just beautiful. winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. Number 31, you got to jump for that, man. In perfect position. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Damn, he's fast. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards to pick up there. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our They got DeAndre Hopkins, Kiki QT, who's really and fast, and they also have Will Fuller. So... They're stacked. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Yo, 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 yo. To throw is Watson. And break, the tight end's got it. And he gets it down to the 32. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. 
When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way, lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play. And so Sometimes it can break big. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash. They'll run it with Mack. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Texans touchdown. Taking it I'm not going to lie, that was awesome how he was behind his blocker and he kind of pushed him away with his hand. That was awesome. Like that, see? Second effort there. That's really realistic. To find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about, a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into... Here we go, tonight. 180. Fuck, Mike. Let's go, Heavy. Let's go, Heavy. Heavy, what you got? What you got, Heavy? What you got, Heavy? Give me some. Now a first down throw, gone. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's oh. going to wind up incomplete. However, we that's do defense. have a flag down. Defense. Let's check in with our referee. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. It's the correct call. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. Fights through him. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. But you said it earlier in the quarter when we saw a broken tackle then that we might see some missed tackles here early on in week one, and that's another one right there. Yeah, not a surprise at all. They will even out as the season extends because they want to get used to the play speed. But right now, here in the early season, the advantage definitely goes to the offense. That catch good for five. It's third down. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. They'll try and pick up the first for Gurley. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Here we go, here we go. It's a first down following a gain of three. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. That is caught at the seven. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Just pound it inside. They don't need to run uh, another play here open the field. The looks, warning. That middle of the field looks real open. Anyway. On first and pound goal, it in. Gurley. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Watch out, reporters. Or watch out, camera guys. Touchdown run. And the Rams run you over. broken our tie as they take the lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, beats good tackling on that play. And now we gotta figure out how to st stop these Texans. Set, 
They begin to drive on the ground with Mack. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. See, I can't really blitz because then it leaves DeAndre one-on-one, -on -one, which cannot happen. As we look ahead to all the action coming up this opening weekend. Of course, we'll also take a look back at this first half. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. And the ball moved up here now to second and seven following the penalty. Back to throw, Watson. Fuller brings it in over the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Here's Watson. One of the selling points of the in route. Is it oh! Oh! Really nice sight line to his oh! Who knocked that out? On a direct shot, Number 29, who are you? In the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Now it's Watson. Throw left side complete to QT. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And this is going to be He's caught, out of but bounds. they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, nice. 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is nice unusual job, because Taylor. we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. The beauty of being able to play his own defense, when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Got him. And he goes down. But we're calling a timeout. And use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. I got him. Here. It's caught inside the 25. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Let's accept it. So a little extra on top of the big play Let's there. Go. It's go. tough for guys go. rushing the passer, Mike, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you check, listen, check, check officials will tell you the ball is gone. He didn't pull up. Here's gone. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but if they make them out of bounds, that does you no good. So after the incompletion on hold first, on, on, now on. second and 10. 12, 12. Turn this up. Golf now, looking to throw. For the end zone, but Why did you jump? Lined up incomplete. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. Hey, Charlie! Throwing on third, gone. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. I'm just going to kick now the field goal. will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Especially with this offense I'm going against. Kick is up Very difficult three. to stop. I'll take a two-score two lead heading into half. 10. 
So with time running out in the half, they were forced to settle there for the short field goal. And you and I both know they would have loved one more shot at the end zone before they decided to settle for that field goal, but it was a prudent, smart play. Take the points and move on. This fielded at the two. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And just sim to the third quarter. Three tight ends. Third quarter starts with a run by Mack. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend? Sure that he's right. On first down, they'll stay with Mack on the ground. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping up. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly oh. at the end. Watson's throw pulled in by Man, Hopkins. that guy's hands are like and a vacuum. get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. He snatched that ball. You've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Stop your whining. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The pro bowler, DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Throwing again on second and 10. Watson. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Got an open man, it's QT. He didn't reach it. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. He missed it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. They stopped him in his tracks. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's hey, the second miss in a row. Ladies. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's got to get his head back together in case he gets another shot. Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. we got to establish it way more, especially with this lead. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football one-on-one here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. Go on. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A solid chunk there, 15 yards. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll lead them with a second and three. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or creep or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. And they got stars all over the they field. Out of the shotgun, the girl. And they'll get him down after a pickup. They got stars all over the field. 
Easy work. It's easy. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down, it's Henderson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Rams add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. All day, baby, let's go! Let's go! Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Here's Watson. Underneath, he's got great. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Watson now to throw. Oh, man. They bring him down. Samson Abuka. He's the one he that walloped him. And takes him down for a loss of nine. Great job defensively. He, I think he was trying him. to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook. I'm not sure why he wasn't exactly running full speed. He must have been uh, against a wide receiver screen. Let's on something. It out for a loss of yardage. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here. After first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. All start offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Out of the gun, Watson. Underneath, he's got Bray. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it'll be fourth down. Yeah, baby! Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the... down and then some at midfield. Brandon Cooks. Touchdown, LA. Brandon Cooks. Touchdown. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Rams add on to their <laughs> lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. All right. Now we're opening it up. Mack, who's still down. Yeah, it is. He hurt his shoulder. Mack apparently shaken up there. Nice hit, boy. 
Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Man, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. To throw on second and six. Watson looking left side and completing it to Thomas. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. But he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Los Angeles. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. A shotgun snap for Watson. Over the middle complete. Oh, That's cool. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face match. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. On first down, it's Watson. And oh, baby. Pressure from the Rams defense. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler Jr. We've been around this league for a while. Many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now left side on the swing pass. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Trying to force it to Oh, Hopkins user pick. User pick. By John Johnson, and his guys will take you thought you could fit it in there? Five yard line. Should have just taken well, the flat, this man. this defensive pressure's been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. Now that turnover might just about do it here. Fourth quarter, the lead that you've got, they can just run the football, run the clock. Exactly right. They played smart. Couple of first downs, and this one should just about be over. Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And what else he's doing, he's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know. Well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak. Oh, yeah. Ball games. Make him miss in a phone booth, Daryl. 12 go. more yards there and another first down. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now. Still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. 
Seven yards there and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the off. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. All right, game's over. Touchdown passes now for Jared Gall. Game's over. It's going to send the rest. Well, my friend, for the Bill O'Brien's upset. For them to get that first game He's just belt. now for upset that the game's over. He wasn't upset Thursday before. He's only now just, just getting belts, upset. <laughs> it was no longer preseason. We were into he should have been upset a long season, time ago. Game of the year. And you know, all eyes were watching this when everyone was excited that football was back. And it's just special. You could just feel it. It's so good to have the pigskin back out there. It'll be crisp fall weather before we know it you got that right but i love the build up to it right all day long anticipating it and then we got here and we saw a game the first game of the year let's keep going so for los angeles it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener and they'll get a few extra days to get Davenport levels up again. <laughs> Let's check out Chandler Hicks. So he's good at pass blocking. He needs finesse. You could just use run blocking in general. All right, let's level up Michael Lucas. He's been playing a lot. He has been playing a lot. He needs to get his zone coverage up. Quentin Ambrose, those 21-year-olds, man, I'm telling you, you got to get them. They have so many more years to develop than, you know, you get a 24-year-old. After his rookie season, he's already 25, you know. This guy, after his rookie season, he's still only 22 years old. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to head out. If you're on the YouTube train watching all these youtube videos i appreciate you feel free to subscribe or like any of these videos if you see a cool play let me know and uh i will see y'all next time okay bye bye